you don't have a ton of things in common with God. But there is one thing. You speak. So does he. God spoke light into existence with his words. I wonder what you could speak into existence with your words this week. I wonder what kind of love you could speak into your marriage that feels like it's in neutral. I wonder what kind of courage you could speak into the heart of a child who's hurting. I wonder what kind of peace you could speak into your broken friendship. What kind of hope you could speak into your own weary soul. I want you to know that the most powerful words you're gonna speak this week is probably not gonna be on a stage or a conference call or closing the deal with a client that you want. The most powerful words you're gonna speak is probably just with one or two people listening, maybe zero. It's totally possible that the most powerful sentence you'll say this week is a thoughtful text message that you send to a friend who's walking through the valley of the shadow of death. It's the apology email that you finally get the courage to send it's the whispered prayers through tears in the middle of a dark night. Powerful words aren't just for preachers who stand behind pulpits. They're for parents who stand next to bunk beds. Speak life with your kids, for spouses who share hopes and dreams during pillow talk, and not criticism for teenagers who stand up to bullies, stand up for the uncool kids. Your tongue is so small, but so powerful. Your tongue is telling a story.